man we are back with another video this is the demonic trial of shredder what kind of name is that but anyway we got some beautiful ladies in here hey first hit that like button to get blown down you know what i'm saying no cap we got it in the building right here man you know what i'm saying we got dd back in the building she's seen it you know what i'm saying go ahead introduce yourself let them know where they can find you at hey y'all my name is destiny you can follow me follow me at instagram at still.desk or you can follow me at tiktok at underscore andrea king hey my name is r you can follow me at ig the barbie r with three all right hi guys it's me Didi. you can follow me on instagram at kalia.delgado you can also subscribe to my youtube channel at kalia dot well kalia delgado without the dot and my TikTok is CowgirlDZ if y'all want to check that out too. Hi, my name is Katya and you can follow me on Instagram, just Katya, or my TikTok, it's X Katya. Katya. Let's get a bag. Me out here, you know what I'm saying? Despicable me. It's literally just okay. something. Okay. Like the pants, like the outfit, okay. Okay, okay. Hey. Yeah, yeah, the fat red card. All oh, right, oh, ladies oh. and gentlemen, it is time for another installment of the Shredder Trials. And our next challenger has approached to be judged for the prestigious honor of having okay. a seat at the round table. And that Ooh. next challenger is none other than the demonic Avengers level threat, the Tengu oh, Shredder. Demonic. So we ain't gonna waste no time. Without no further room. ado, it is time to continue <laughs> the Shredder Trial. Exhibit A. I get it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, the Shredder from Hell. Now, the Tengu Shredder is from the depths of Hell. Damn. Bro, I know some of y'all niggas gotta be shook. Cause first we talked about an alien, and now we're talking about a demon. I know some of y'all probably thought Shredder was just a human. Well, I mean, the next trial we will be talking about the human version, but this one however though yeah get ready to strap in so to understand all of this we have to go back all the way to 300 a.d now as we can see this village is burning and people are running for their lives because they are under attack by a tengu that was called the shredder yeah this big ass godzilla looking motherfucker was the original shredder okay. that came from the depths of hell to wreak havoc on earth and look at it he is killing mm. us out here frying motherfuckers mm. extra crispy and this yeah, dude just That's wreaked what havoc and doing. destroyed everything in his path so to stop the shredder the emperor of japan gathered the five greatest warriors in the world and okay. of those warriors one of them was none other than the original Oroku Saki. Yes, okay. Utram Shredder stole this whole n***a's flow to gain respect and have a higher place in society. So these great warriors were given sacred armor and they set out to defeat the Shredder. Now, before that battle even starts, we gotta pump the blick at this shit. That is a whole village over there that has been burnt down and destroyed. And by my calculations, those villagers are 99.9% .9 dead. I mean, let's be real. It's a demon. He probably snatched all their damn souls. But anyway, the warriors pull up on Shredder and immediately start to get washed. They stood no chance. Look at this dude and his poor horse. Shredder winded up his fist all the way to the heavens and slung that nigga all the way to the Mississippi River. And look at bro right here. Blood tried to hit him with a mace and chain him up around his tree. But the demon said, Straight up squash that nigga. So the only person that was able to give this demon a fight was none other than Oroku Saki. Now okay. Saki was actually able to damage him. He was so strong, he was able okay. to cut Knocked off the demon's hole. arm and actually bring it to its knees. So it looked like it was all over. The world was about to be saved. Saki it. told him, go back to the hell from which you came from, demon. But right before he was about to give the killing blow, the demon invaded his mind and he started to seduce this man. Man. So the Shredder made him a offer. He told him, Ah, oh, great warrior, I can give you everything that you desire. Money, power, bitches. Ooh, bitches, you say. Countless bitches from across the world. All you have to do. Hey, 
hey, sign me up. Sign me up. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing with you. Yo, your soul is worth that? Oh, just... girl. <laughs> it's mine. So, so, so. so, after hearing the demon's offer, Saki okay. took the deal. He sold his Y'all soul. So he destroyed the body of the Look demon it. to make it look like he defeated him. But in all oh, actuality, shit. the demon merged with him and Oroku Saki became the host oh. of the Shredder. So they returned to Yamato and they were mm. welcomed back with I'm a like, party by the Emperor and all of the people. So the Emperor <laughs> is up here praising them, giving them the glory, the honor, okay. and all the glaze. But little did he and everybody else know that the worst was yet to come. Because later right, on, right after the ceremony, Saki, or no, let me rephrase that. The Shredder came back to Yamato, surrounded by demons, and destroyed the whole place, massacring everybody. Where's the Ninja Turtles at? Yeah, so, uh, right the Emperor? That's yeah, that nigga's dead. And over Wait, time, he just plunged the entire yeah. world into darkness. Nobody could stop this nigga. Not even armies. They all failed. He oh. became the world's most feared warlord. And on top of that, he was a Avengers level threat. It was hopeless. This was the Demon King that all the Isekai protagonists are summoned to come no. defeat. So there was only one way to stop this Demon King Shredder. The four other ninjas that used to be his teammates had to learn mystic arts so they could ascend okay. to godhood because that was the only way they were going to be able to stop him. So okay. years later, after they finished training and became gods, they went to confront their old friend. Now, as we can see, the Shredder, or should I call him Oroku Hefner, is having a good old time with his bitches. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Until the four dragon warriors bust up in his crib. So obviously this man Shredder was pissed. He told him, oh, you cock blocking motherfuckers. We were just about to get to the good right, part. To get the Fuck you, Saki. You betrayed us. Your best friends. Oh, for what, Saki? For a taste of pussy? Oh, don't act like I was in the wrong. Hanging out with you pussyless fools was never going to get me laid. So Shredder he he can't get no girl. Why he told his because with their mystic arts, they were able to keep up with them. So they actually end up knocking this man down. Hell, they couldn't even believe it. So the Shredder decided it was time to release his full power. So this man transforms into a dragon. This was wild. You had to think, oh, is this Pokemon? Is we watching Pokemon, bro? That looked yeah, like a millionaire. My bad. He had, to, he had to boss up right quick. These niggas are about to get cooked. But then you gotta remember, oh wait, these niggas are also gods too. So they transformed into dragon avatars okay. as well. So it was time for the okay. final boss battle okay. with the world at stake. A big okay. ass dragon battle. So the motherfucking Green Ranger hits him from the back and smashes him in the ground. Nice. But this man got up and used super explosive wave, sending everybody the flying. Ranger. The Yellow Ranger got flung all the way into a mountain. And oh my god, cool. look what he did to the green ranger nigga grabbed her neck and planted her in the ground then he threw her so hard and destroyed the whole castle but the four dragons were persistent even though they was getting they ass whooped and getting bitch slapped they kept on jumping so then the yellow ranger ends up turning into kung lao nigga threw his hat and it turned into a shuriken cutting off both of his hands then they started using key blasts to seal this man's spirit so he ended up running out of key for his transformation and ended up falling all the way down to the ground the I'm Shredder's really reign of terror was finally over. So the mean. four dragons came up with a plan because they knew they couldn't kill him because this man was an entity. Death would not hold this man back. So they decided to seal him so he would never resurrect. Okay. So these four ninjas ended up becoming the legendary ninja tribunal. And their whole purpose okay. was to watch over turns. this man's casket and to train warriors if this man ever resurrected. And they did this for 1,700 years. You said years. what? So oh, everything that seemed all fine. Ain't that the Ninja Ooh. Turtles? No. I don't no. even know. That's dedicated. Do you see any Ninja Turtles? Boy, shows? I ain't never yeah. seen. I ain't never seen this. Well, well, yeah, Shredder was just numbers. on Ninja Turtles, wasn't he? Bro, just give it some time, bro. Calm down. I know you're a fan now. Bruh. I don't it's see no Ninja Turtles. I ain't trying to spoil it for him. Give it some if time. If I don't see no Domino's pizza in this video, I don't know what's going to go down. You know what I'm saying?
Oh, oh to see. until his had a collapse, woke him, stole his <laughs> casket, and resurrected him. The Shredder Trials. Uh, exhibit oh, A wrap up. Like that. Multiple mass murders. <laughs> property <laughs> damage. Multiple attempted murders. Criminal mischief. Treason of the highest order. Oh. War crimes. Oh. Okay. Exhibit B. Wow, that was great. Alrighty, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Dark Resurrection. So, oh, as I stated at the end of Exhibit A, the Shredder's mystic acolytes broke into the tribunal's temple and stole the Shredder's casket so they could resurrect him. So now we go back to present day New York and his acolytes are performing the ritual in the Chrysler building. I know this man Spider-Man mad doing this satanic shit on his turf. So to resurrect the Shredder, they had to recite these words and say it in unison. That sounds No way. Wow. They trying to get Mickey. I told y'all something was wrong with Walt Disney. I'm going to tell y'all, yeah, boy, no. that Mickey Mouse, boy, you seen that sign on? Which ah. speech <laughs> to summon the Mickey Mouse clubhouse, the Shredder arose from the dead and his body was completely rebuilt into the form of a demon. And his aura was so strong, he blew the place up. So once the acolytes knew this man was back, they instantly started glazing. This nigga Shredder oh, was on nah. some Roman Reigns shit. The first thing he said out the casket was, Acknowledge me. Oh, yes, me lord. So Shredder Boy, was you itching to do some bad things looking, because uh, the man's been sealed for 1,700 years. But also, the acolytes told him about the Utram Shredder and how he impersonated him for years. And even okay. though Utram Shredder That's isn't here anymore, Karai became the new Shredder. So this man was late and immediately attacked his acolytes. And bro was yelling at him and telling him, how dare you let those bum ass niggas tarnish my name. Oh, oh master, we, we apologize. So the first thing on this man's Kinda agenda like that, was bro. to head to the foot headquarters. And while he was on the way, he decided to cause mayhem. Nigga was floating down the streets and just destroying everything, causing multiple car crashes, blowing up newspaper stands, vandalizing that one statue outside of the Rockefeller Center. And my God, this was the worst one. He let this motherfucker right here burn alive in a car. This show was shown on four days, by the way. So Shredder arrives at Foot Clan HQ and doesn't even decide to use the door that's clearly right there. No, he blows a massive hole open. So a massive amount of Foot just come up and try to ambush him. But Shredder was about to catch 100 bodies in just five seconds because he immediately blows up the entire area, killing damn near every Foot Ninja in the blast radius. And it went so quick, he was disappointed. Shredder looked at their corpses and said, you call yourselves ninja? Pathetic. Put the fries in the bag. So then the Foot Clan deploys every single mech that they have to try to stop them, but they failed miserably. Getting eviscerated on the spot. And just look at this carnage, bro. They stood no chance. Nigga right here got folded like an omelet. So Shredder proceeded to get all the way to the top floor, and he is immediately met by the elite guard. The same elite guard that put Leonardo in a coma for a week. And you know what he does to these oh. dudes? He uses the force to grab their weapons, then just flings it at them, one-shotting them. What in the Star Wars? The Foot Clan elites got one-shotted by this man. Unbelievable. So the last people to try to stop him were these recon ninja trying to okay. seal him, but this did not work at all because this man just breaks out of what they tried to seal him in and brutally snatches their souls. He left their bodies a empty husk. So Shredder was losing patience. He yelled, Karai, bring your bitch ass out here. So Karai comes out in her Shredder armor and she is not having this. She told this man, okay, first of all, boo-boo, I'm gonna need you to lower that tone. Throwing up on my turf on some bullshit. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is? The Shredder? I'm a psychologist, nigga. You don't think I can read? right through your phony ass? Newsflash, old oh, nigga, oh, I'm in charge now. So okay, Karai tries right. to attack him, but bro immediately grabs her and throws her into a gun. Oh, and Shredder was yeah. killing himself, yapping at her and saying, oh yeah, get on up, you ragged bitch. 
to blow grab her and threw her across the room again. This nigga did not come to play games, so Karai had to pull out her trump card. She pulled out some holy water and threw it on the nigga. And she actually saw like I said, some holy water. Oh, water. Oh, so then she kicks him on the wall and stabs him right in the gut. Oh, and bro yeah. falls to his knees. Yeah. And it looks oh, yeah. like Karai is one. But my god, this was some no fuck shit stop. this man did. Oh, his course. helmet falls off oh, and he just nothing? looks at her. And her emotions start to get the best of her. Because she sees his <laughs> face and she's this? like, <laughs> Daddy. Oh, my it's sweet me. child. So she comes down to try to help him. Uh -huh. She thinks this is her dad. But he no, turns his him. face back into a no, demon no. and just starts no. laughing at her. She is legit traumatized. And bro just gets up and rips the sword out of his stomach. <laughs> Nigga said, Foolish little girl, you thought this weak shit would kill me? So he turns the sword into a snake and just has what? it chase her around while he's just yeah, watching bro. and laughing the whole time she's running for her life. This is a sick nigga. So then he comes out and drop kicks her and she ends up running into a pole and the snake wraps her up. So before he's about to Whoa. deliver the final strike, he's giving her a choice of, do you want to die by my claws or my serpent's face? Too oh. wisely now. So when he's going in for the kill, she makes a hard read and ducks this man and he ends up cutting off the serpent's head. Okay. So Shredder lost all That's his patience. He grabbed her and just threw her on the wall and bro floated up to her and told her, you dare call yourself Shredder? You fucking fool. God, take this shit off! So he rips off her like, armor, bro. and then Yo. he probably said the wildest line in this entire show. In his exact words, I quote, After looking at you, perhaps I should let you live after all. You would make a fine slave. Another reminder that this was on four kids, by the way. So the what? turtles finally pull up with some new mystical abilities. That finally, hey, go. finally, okay. Hey, we're supposed to get this in this video. Well, we I didn't know who else that was. They got from the training with the tribunal, and this shredder has never met these turtles yet. So he was confused. He was like, "Talking turtles? The fuck are you supposed to be, nigga turtles?" <laughs> <laughs> So Shredder said to hell oh, with yeah. it. It's time to pull out my ultimate technique. So this okay, man floats Leonardo up and says, no green expansion. Yes, this Shredder has a domain expansion and it is broken because his domain expansion allows him to raise every single enemy he's put from the dead. <laughs> So all he those people he cut during his conquest back in 300 AD? Yeah, he could bring them right back up, along with other creatures from the nether realm. So he has them attack everybody, and they can't do nothing, because every okay. time they take one out, they just rise back up. They were going against an Omoto army, but here comes Karai again, but she got a new toy. She got a holy water sword. So she starts okay. clashing swords with Shredder, and she actually ends up landing a hit, but this just pissed him off, because he walked her down and cut her sword in half. Oh, fuck. So he walked her down and had his undead grab her and hold her in place. So he is about to kill her, but Karai's boyfriend, Dr. Chaplin, shoots this nigga with a holy water gun, blowing a hole in his stomach. But this did nothing. This man was truly immortal. He started laughing and just regenerated. So he looked at her boyfriend and said, Oh, I get it. Is this your girl, nigga? No, nah, I would say congratulations. No, I would have said no. I would have said no. To be honest with you, I don't know how the hell Karai survived this. I don't. She should be dead. Dead as hell. So Shredder blows everybody off the roof. And the turtles and everybody got a retreat. This battle was hopeless. They got they ass beat. Karai got put in a coma and lost all the drip. She has no sauce. But you know where she can get that drip back at? She can get that sauce back on CJDChamp.com with that team no merch. Okay, okay. She needed a plug on the Shredder trials. Exhibit B wrap up. Attempted murder, murder, arson, murder. criminal mischief, mass murder, murder. assault, mm. vehicular mm. manslaughter. I still kind of feel like he could have got his murder. Yeah, all righty, ladies and gents. It is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit C, Hell on Earth. So, 
After Shredder brutalized and destroyed the Foot Clan in a night, he decided it's time to take over New York. So he makes his way over to the mayor's house. And instead of walking through the door like a civilized citizen, this man decides to break through the roof so he could fly in and assert his dominance. So the mayor was terrified while Shredder was up here floating and saying, this is what you deserve for those foolish tax cuts, you fat fool. So he picks this man up and throws him to the side of the wall. Him like Donald Trump, ain't it? That man's back has got to be broken. He threw him so hard, he made a dent in the wall. And that man is not the f out. So you just assaulted a government official, broke his back, and the way his head landed, he probably just gave him Antonio Brown levels of CTE. So it was time for Shredder to enact this plan. He started using his domain expansion to transform the entire city into hell on earth. It was complete chaos. Some people even got hit and got their soul snatched and turned into an undead monster. And to make sure it covered everything, this man transformed back into his demonic dragon form and spread it out his domain all the way throughout the entire city. And when he was done, he turned the entire city into hell. There's a fucking volcano in Times Square. Look at the Statue of Liberty. What the hell is that? And Shredder wasn't even gonna stop here. He was going to spread his domain across the entire planet, but he needed time to rest before he could do it. So the Ninja Turtles and everybody had to come up with a plan. And that was to form the Avengers. They had to get other acolytes from the Tribunal, Agent Bishop and Dr. Stockman from their shadow organization, every superhero in the city, and Karai with whatever was left with the foot. So they all go to Shredder's stronghold and start to assault the base. So after they had to fight through floors of monsters and kill the Shredder's mystic acolytes, they finally reached his throne room and he welcomed them in because he wanted to kill them personally because all of them were trained by the tribunal, the people that sealed him to begin with. But before he was about to attack, Karai pulled out some mystic ninjutsu to start draining this man's power. So this actually ends up knocking him down because they finally found a weakness against this man. So this big bastard hun walks up the bro's body and kicks him and he's like, nigga, you ain't shit compared to Master Shirell. Nigga, you trash. But Hun celebrated too soon. Shredder grabbed this man, floated up and told him, how dare you put your lowly monkey feet on my drip, nigga. You should focus on facing that bagged up ass hairline of yours. So the final battle finally started. Bootleg Superman, Silver Six Superman, Silver Century tried to punch him, but got blocked immediately. And Pro started breaking his arm and telling him, right. "My God, your headlines even worse. When did the Vegeta start coming in fashion?" Shaking. Uh, him to uh, uh, God knows where. They could hit him with the Team Rocket special. So this man charges up a massive key blast and blasts everybody outside of the stronghold and starts coming at them at full speed on a demon horse with a trident. So this man tries to impale Raphael, but he ended up dodging it and he ends up getting surrounded by all eight of the acolytes trained by the tribunal. But he didn't care that he was about to get jumped. Matter of fact, he was filled with joy. He wanted this shit. So Raphael is the first one to attack along with the bride from Kill Bill. Build, but okay. he throws Raphael in the shorty. Then here comes Hanzo. He gets washed and thrown to the side, just like Overwatch. Oh my goodness. So here comes Mikey from the other side. But he okay. gets force choked, slammed on the ground. Then he got drugged, hit Donatello, and they both got slammed on a tree with thorns. This man just hit a collateral. So then Leonardo and the last two dudes try to attack him. But they get hit by that Wukong immobilized, and you just see him get blown up in the distance. Dang. So this man just caught like eight assault so charges. Sad. And you know what? I saw this what comment on my last video. Right you forgot to yeah, mention that these oh, are oh, teenage oh, mutant ninja, mutant ninja, ninja turtles. turtles. And you know what? You're damn right. So guess what? We hitting that nigga with child abuse. Uh -oh. So Master Splinter yeah. runs over here and he's grieving over his sons getting their ass beat. And while the ancient one is behind him trying to comfort him, his fast gets hit with black oh, oh, So the Shredder is looking at Master Splinter and all hope seems lost. But the turtle's amulets end up using okay. the power of ass pull because the spirit oh. of Hamato Yoshi comes out of the amulets and he is a wounding this man's soul. All 
all of his evil energy yes. is leaking out of him. So to repair himself, he had to take down his domain expansion and absorb all of that energy and turn back into his dragon oh, form. So Master Splinter had to give these boys a pep talk. He told them, oh, my sons, reach deep into yourself on some Bruce Lee shit oh, and into the dragon. So these boys into ended the up dragon. manifesting dragon avatars just like hey, the tribunal did in 300 AD. So the wow. fate of the world oh, all comes you know. down to another dance of the wow. dragons. So they start pushing them, but they get in big slap. But Leonardo lands a Kamehameha and puts his ass in the dirt. But this was not gonna stop yeah. him. Raphael came in to get a bite just to get big slapped across New York and landed on a yacht. Oh, God, people weren't on there. Then Donatello and Michelangelo take a double facial. A double oh, facial. Oh. But here comes Leonardo yeah, hitting okay. them with a kamikaze. Okay. I hope to God nobody is in these buildings right now because if they are, they are dead. So Leonardo ended nobody up taking himself none. out on that shoulder bash. And Shredder got up and made his way to Karai because she was trying to use that dark magic shit on him again. So he flies down. And yeah. the first person <laughs> he goes for is none other than Baxter Stockman. Not he took his man. Can't catch a break. He hey, whatever shutter it is, My it mom. doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they <laughs> always got two things in common: hating turtles and abusing Baxter Stockman. So he oh, is no, eating Baxter, this nigga, like, then cooking Dr. Baxter, Chapman oh again. So he is about to chow oh down God. on Karate. Mm -hmm. But Raphael and Donatello oh. grab him by the snout, and Mikey comes in with the spear. Planting okay. his big ass. And that gave yeah. Karai enough time to finish the ritual. And zapping all of this man's dark energy. So they start jumping and playing ping pong with his ass. And it got so bad, he ended up losing his helmet and his gauntlet. And that is significant because that makes him a mortal oh. being again. So Donatello oh. goes from the top oh. and sucks on him. Then after pinning him down, their amulets end up manifesting the spirit of Hamato Yoshi again. So this man Shredder was pissed. He was yeah. yelling at him like, no, I will not lose to some bullshit. This makes no fucking sense. You are right. It doesn't make a lick of sense. But it doesn't matter because this is on four kids. Nani? So Hamato ah. Yoshi jumps up and freezes this nigga, splitting him right down the middle. That what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, everybody. We now turn our attention to the board of charges. And my God, just look at it. Look at it! Absolutely nasty work. Multiple charges with multiple counts. I think it's safe to say another shredder, another seat at the table. Jesus Christ. Because this spread is ridiculous. And we still got one more to go. And this last one, <laughs> he takes Hayton to another level. So before I get out of here, I just got to thank y'all for two. All right, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my conclusion is this this shredder is just racist. Okay. He didn't like black people. Yeah, he didn't like women either. He was Beano. <laughs> I mean, why I gotta be the first black person, the first black Superman that we get. He got show his truth. I mean, said, is it a I mean, I feel bad he beat up Baxter though. That was the man though. He didn't Baxter, do anything. That's another black dude. What what did the black dude do to you, brother? I'll he should have left a long time ago. <laughs> he, he's after he took parts of his body, he should have been resigned. Let, you let him strip you down yeah. to an eyeball. Then I'm talking to eyeball. Yo, like, I say after you get beat to a certain time, just walk away. Like, yeah. right. Stand up for yourself. Legs are coming out.